All right, so I am making a video here. So you're probably not aware, but I am in the middle of recording a Laracast series where I'm talking about building a single database multi-tenant application. And I'm almost done with the video. I've got a, a good amount of the functionality done, but there was one piece that I wanted to share that was not in the video, uh, the series, and the series will be coming out later. Uh, depends on when you watch this, it might already be out. But I wanted to talk about just the ability to add a loading indicator using Livewire. And it's it's actually really simple because Caleb, who created Livewire, made it really simple. But I wanted to do this and I also wanted to make this video um, unpolished. I'm not gonna edit anything. I'm just gonna throw it up there so you can see you know kind of the difference between what a Laracast video looks like and what one looks like where I'm floundering, uh, which I, I tend to do and, and most developers tend to do. So uh, this is gonna be really unpolished, but let's just take a look at how to add a loading spinner. So the first thing I want to show you is this, um, I'll put a link in the description of the YouTube video and in the blog where I'm gonna write this, but um, these are some really cool CSS only uh, loading spinners. So if you take a look at some of this stuff, um, I mean, these are great. They're high quality. Um, I just, I love them. So I just found this as I was trying to, you know, figure out what to do for this Laracast series. And I think these are really cool, but the one I really like is down here, the line scale. And so if you take a look at it, you can just click here and it will show you um, what the, uh, let's take a look. This is a white background. So I'm gonna want the dark one. So um, I don't know, let's just grab this default. And basically this is just gonna tell you what HTML markup you need to put into your code. So I'm gonna copy that. Let's go over to PHP Storm. I know I'm gonna want uh, to create a component for this. And I may have already done it actually. Yeah, I did do this before, but let's just do it. Um, so I'll paste this in. Again, this is very unpolished. Uh, you can see these are the same classes here. Uh, and then I'm just going to merge in the um, attributes if I want to like add any margin top or anything like that. So that's the whole reason why I did this with the uh, Laravel uh, blade component. So I've got the loading, um, the HTML markup here. And then what I need to do is add the CSS styles and those come from all the way down here. So you just add this markup and then you put this in your CSS. So I would copy all of this. And again, I actually think I've already done it, but I'm not gonna go edit out and start over, but I'll just show you exactly what I would have done. I'm just gonna go to my app.scss. And so this is, again, if you haven't been following or you are not aware, this is the tall preset that I use to generate this. And so it comes with this app.scss file. And this is where Tailwind and, and Tailwind UI is loaded in here. So um, just below that, I just I just pasted all of this in here. And so this is what gives you that loading spinner. So that's in here, everything looks good. So what I would need to do is npm run dev to regenerate all of my um, CSS files. And that's already been generated, but I'll run it there just, just so you can see it. And then what I have, because I have this loading uh, blade component, is when I go to add user, I should be able to um, add a, let me find the application. So this is uploading a, a PDF. And what I'm gonna do is just throw it in here. Whoops, that's not what I want. Um, let's just say X loading, and let's not even uh, have any conditional. So let's just see what this looks like when I go refresh the page. So there it is, you can see our loading spinner, it, that's what it would look like. Now we only want this to show if something is actually loading. And so I also want it to be aligned similarly to the photo, which is up here. So I just like to take a look at, I am not the best at CSS. Um, and that's why I use Tailwind UI for a bunch of stuff. So let's see, we've got a flex, flex item center. Okay, so I wonder if I just threw this in here if that's gonna work, let's refresh. Okay, there we go. And then um, again, let me show you why this is important. Oops, the class equals, let's say MR or yeah, MR2 and refresh. 
So that pushes it over a little bit more. What's this photo? Um, oh, this is an MR4. So let's use that to be consistent. I don't need to copy and paste. We'll just put that there. Yeah, so when the application is loading, I would like for this to show here. Uh, so that looks really nice. And the reason that this works, again, let me go back to the loading.blade, because I'm merging whatever attributes I put into the blade component with this here. So if I hadn't done that, let me just show you. If, uh, well, let's just take all of this, delete that. We'll say equals, and let's put this there. All right, so if I do this, and refresh the page. Now that margin right, uh, it doesn't do anything because it doesn't merge in. So I uh, just wanted to show you why we use this attributes merge so that I can pull in whatever classes I add to uh, this HTML element, which calls the blade component. So that looks like it's working great. Let me refresh. Okay, so now I want this to show, but I only want it to show when I am loading the application. And um, so to do that in Livewire, it's super simple, but let's say Livewire loading, let's just grab the docs and take a look at it. So I've got, um, I want to target this to a specific action. So I've, I'm going to grab a div wire, div wire loading, and I'm going to add a target and the target's going to be on the application here. So let's throw this in a div. and the target is going to be application. And let me go into my add user. I got a really big file that's going to take a while to um, upload. So let me put validation here. I got a 10 mega or five megabyte file. So we'll say it's 10. So that should work. Um, all right, let's see if this works. Choose the application. I've got this five megabyte file right here. And there we go. It is loading. And ooh, it's taking longer than I would have expected it to. Okay. And it looks like it probably loaded successfully. What I don't have is, um, I don't have an error. So, and I believe in the code I am showing if an error comes back. Yeah. So we would have seen an error if it didn't work. The other thing that I probably want to do here is give some indication that um, it has been loaded. Kind of like up here, uh, if I were to upload a photo, you can see... Oh, there it is. It's working. Um, so we probably want, but you can't preview a, a PDF. I don't want to preview a PDF. So I also added this document icon. So why don't we do something very similar to what we had here? Oops. Let's go back here. So again, if there's a photo, then we want to show something. So let me just grab this and then um, otherwise we're going to show uh, so I think maybe let's just have this empty. I don't know. Let's, let's work on it for a minute. So I've got the wire loading here. Let me just copy. So again, this is not photo. This is application. And, um, let's see if we end if here. So what's this going to do? If there's an application, instead of showing the photo temporary URL, we want to show this um, document icon. So if we go back to this, again, what I didn't do here is merge in the classes, which I probably should have, but uh, we can also just, um, let's put it inside this div. Let's replace this with X document icon and self close it. All right, so this should say, if there is an application, show this document. Um, I probably don't want this inside the conditional. Um, let's see, let me just see how this works. Again, a lot of trial and error here. All right, let's refresh the page. All right, when I do this, five megabyte file, this is loading and all right, it's not showing for some reason. So if there's an application, um, why wouldn't that work? 
X document icon. Let's just see if this works. And let's do one that won't take so long. Let's just do, I don't know. Yeah, so for some reason that's not working. If application, so it works up here. If it's inside this flex, oh, I wonder if it probably, let me wrap this in a div and see if that works. This is one of those live wire things where I think that's what's going on. Let me check. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is one of those live wire things where if you have your full div that's conditional wrapped in a condition, if a conditional statement wraps the full div, the, um, what's it called? The, um, gosh, I'm completely drawing a blank. The thing that um, changes the DOM in Livewire, oh my gosh, I can't remember it. Anyways, uh, so let's just keep that wrapped in a div. We'll get rid of hello. Um, and let's see how this works now. Let's do it again, small one. There we go. So now this is pretty much working. So this will you know, just kind of show, hey, you do have a document here. And we just want this to um, have a little bit of MR4. So let's try again. Application, the quick one. There we go. And so that at least gives the user some indication that whatever they've uploaded is actually there, which I think is pretty nice, works pretty good. So now we have that loading indicator there, but the other thing we're gonna wanna do is add it here because, so if you're not familiar with how Livewire does uh, document uploading, what that is doing, let me refresh one more time and let's do the big one that takes a while. So what this is gonna do is it's side loading. So it's actually loading that full five megabyte uh, file out to Amazon S3. So it takes a while to do that. And once it's done, then it shows here. And then if we are to add the team member, it's gonna to have to, if it's successful, now if I do this, it's gonna throw some uh, validation errors, which is fine. But um, if it's actually successful, I would like to do a, another loading indicator because this five megabytes is gonna have to then be uploaded not to my uh, storage disk that's for the temporary files, but to the, uh, the permanent one. So let's go ahead and grab this loading. And we'll come down here to add team member. We've got this. So let's just throw it right in there. And we're gonna have another MR4. I think this is just gonna work. Oh, no, it's not. The target is, um, all right. So I need to target what's being called when this submit button is uh, clicked. And so the submit button is aligned to this form. And so if we go up to the form, we can see submit is the function that we're calling. So let's change that to submit. And the reason I'm targeting this is because I don't want, let me show you again. When I upload here, Livewire is loading, right? So I, but I only want the loader to show here. I don't want it to show there. Does that make sense? Let me uh, refresh. Let's take the wire target off. So now this is going to show every time something's loading anywhere. So if I refresh the page again, and let's upload that five megabytes, and you're gonna see, look, we're loading in both places, but we don't want that. We only want that loading indicator to show. Um, so, whoops, let's just undo. There we go. So only when we're calling the submit method on our LiveR component do we want this particular loading indicator to show. So, all right, let's do this. One, two, three. Let's choose a file here. Let's get Beatrice. Let's get an application. Let's do this five megabyte file. So we've got our loading indicator there. Let's wait till that's done. Okay, everything's good there. And now if I click add team member, I've got a loading indicator there and we did it. Cool. So let's just clean up this success message. Actually, what I really wanna do is once I add a user, I just wanna redirect them to the page that shows all the users. So let's go into our component and instead of flashing this, Let's just say, 
return redirect to team. All right. And so now you can see this is the one I just added, the one, two, three. We do have this really big five megabyte file that loads really nice. Um, if you're interested in how all of that works with S3, that's in the full Laracast course. But this was a, uh, I don't even have edit working here because it's just a demo application. But I think that's a much nicer way to work with the, um, with all the documents and to show that something's actually loading because without those loading indicators, especially when you're uploading large files, the user has no idea if, if it's working, did they not choose it correctly, um, all kinds of stuff. So I think that was really nice. Let's take a look at the loading states one more time before we finish up here. Um, I th is there a way to... So I do like to target the um, loading states I thought there was a way to only show the loading if um, something is taking longer than say 250 milliseconds or something. Because what would be really weird is um, if it's making like a 100 or an 80 millisecond request and this loading indicator pops up really quick and then comes back. Um, I, I, I guess not necessarily weird, but um, I'm not seeing anything in the docs, but I could have sworn there was something. Uh, so I guess that's something I'll just look into as I you know, continue working on, um, you know, working through Livewire. So I think that's it though. So pretty simple. Again, thank, thank you to Caleb because these loading states are super easy and I don't even know how I would have done it without this, but uh, it's really cool that we can make something that's um, so easy. And then again, thank you to Daniel Car Cardoso for creating these really nice CSS only um, loading indicators. Again, um, I'll put the link to that um, in the video and in the blog, but look how nice these things are. Look at that. That's super cool. It makes, makes it seem like you're doing something really fancy when all you're really doing is saying, hey, something's loading, but I like this one. Look at that. That little box just jumping up and down with a shadow. So cool. All right. Uh, that will do it for this video.